Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm going to do another tree. So I've put masking tape on the sides to create a triangle. And I'm going to do a balloon smash today. And I'll be using these colors. This is carmine. And this is naphthol red medium. And there's burnt umber and light gold. And in here is titanium white, which will be the base. And I'm using just this clear PVA glue, 70% and 30% water as my pouring medium for all the colors, for all of it. And so this is going to be very thin in consistency today. So here we go with laying down the base first. Here you can see just how thin and fluid the consistency is of the base paint. And the colors are pretty much the same, maybe a little bit thicker. So once we've fixed the sides, make sure that's got paint on it and torched out or popped out any of the air bubbles with a torch, it's time to lay down some colors. And I'm going to blow out the colors first and then do the balloon smashes all at once afterwards. You can see here how the colors are sinking into the base paint because the base paint is so much thinner. So what I have to do here is to blow the colors up and through the white paint. So you do end up getting a very, very soft and um, muted colors. Now that all the colors have been blown out, it's time to balloon smash. And because the paint consistency is so thin this time, I'm not going to try and fix the middles until afterwards. I think already from here, I know I will struggle with that because it's so thin today. So if you'd like to have more control, use much thicker pouring medium, a thicker glue, or just use Floatrol. The reason why I don't just use Floatrol is because much as I love the product, it's quite expensive to get in Japan. And also I find that it dries a little bit yellow for me. So I like using this clear PVA glue. Up until this point, I've been wiping the balloon per smash, but after here, I'm just adding what paint I have on the balloon into some of the emptier spaces. So again, this is picking up a lot more of the white and making it a very, very muted. But I think it's really pretty. It's reminding me of toile fabric. Doing some finger dips here in the middles to try and uh, fix the shape, but it's quite difficult when it's this fluid, it falls back into itself. So I'm going to wait and do some more a bit later. And I'm just going to add some more white and some more color here because I didn't like that section. Um, you can always fix it whilst it's this uh, wet still. So just add some more base color and paint and um, restart. Doing a little bit more finger dabbing here to the middles, but I'm not going to add any colors this time. Um, I tried a little bit, but it was still sinking in, so I'm just going to leave it as is. So here is the wet version of the painting. It kind of reminds me of porcelain or bone china. 
you know, some of the designs you get on there and also the twill fabric I was talking about. So let's go in closer and you can see there's a little bit of that burnt umber coming through. It didn't come out so much as I had expected. I think it's the carmine which was the most prominent in this painting. I'm enjoying seeing how these paintings evolve depending on how thin I'm making the paints. So yes, let's have a look at it once it's dried. It's now dry, however, I've taped it up because I'm going to flood the sides with the white base paint. I did the same for the bubble wrap dip tree, uh, so I'll show that also at the end of this painting. The air bubbles have also been popped with the torch and now let's wait till it dries. And here is the dried version, but I've noticed that I missed a couple of the corners with the colored paints. So I'll have to touch up a little bit there so it doesn't blend too much with the white background. Let's go in and have a closer look. Let's zoom in and um, i'm loving the center of that flower there it's darker on the top so i might add some of that carmine to the bottom corners but i'm loving these soft middles in these ones the colors are actually much brighter than this so i'm just gonna move it over here so you can maybe tell the color better from this uh, lighting So what I've learned from doing many, many of these floral balloon smash paintings is that when you're not so sure of how the middle looks whilst it's wet, it's worth leaving it until it dries because you get some amazing results. Oh, and here is the bubble wrap dip technique tree after the sides being flooded out with white paint. So that was the last of my three tree series um, for this year. So I hope you have a wonderful festive season. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. And I'll be back with another video shortly. Thank you so much for watching as always. And see you in the next one. Bye.